six engines up and running and lift off. Kazakhstan, November 20th, 1998. The first module of the International Space Station is launched into orbit on a Russian rocket. The International Space Station is underway. Beginning arguably the most groundbreaking engineering project in human history. The International Space Station is really a marvel of engineering. It took 42 flights to build this thing over 10 years. And it was sent up module by module with astronauts and cosmonauts living on board and adding to it as it became a larger and larger space. It has a set of solar rays, and from tip to tip, each one of those eight wings is 239 feet. So it is 357 feet long. NASA likes to say it's one yard short of being an American football field, including the end zones. The International Space Station is a symbol of how incredible human ingenuity in engineering really is. That we've been able to not only build the International Space Station, but keep it alive for 20 years and learn so much in the process is really an incredible outlet of what humans can do. The idea of a space station suitable for human habitation started with the vision of one man, Dr. Werner von Braun, the German-born aerospace engineer who designed the Saturn V rocket that took Americans to the moon. In 1952, nearly a decade before the first manned space flight, von Braun's concept for a 250-foot wheel-shaped station captured the world's imagination. Von Braun envisioned this rotating space station to provide a certain amount of artificial gravity. It could be used for monitoring Earth, weather, for military purposes, also as a way station for docking a spacecraft that would be going somewhere else in space, to the moon or to Mars. So the International Space Station isn't quite that, but it's the proof of concept and starting to help us understand the technology such that maybe down the line, the next generation or the generation after the next, we will eventually get that giant city in orbit. A giant city in space. It's a marvelous and inspiring idea, one that raises a profound question. Have we achieved all that we can on our home planet? And are we destined to leave our mark not just on Earth, but far beyond it? So many of our iconic structures on this planet are reaching beyond, stretching up from the surface, trying to get us somewhere else. Once we're in space, what form will our structures have and what role will they play, not just pragmatically as shelter for us, but as symbols for us, and what will we reach for if we're already off of this planet? <laughs>